Welcome back to Math Window. Calculate 4 to the power of 52, then times 25 to the power of 49. How can we solve it? First, we have to pay attention to the exponent. This exponent of 4 is 52. And the other exponent of 25 is 49. So they are pretty close. Then, I have a wonderful method. Now because 52 and 49, they are pretty closed, then 4 to the power of 52, it can be written as, okay, 52 then minus 49, it is just 3. So from this main line, this, 4 to the power of 52, it can be written as 4 to the power 3 and then times multiply by 4 to the power 49 and then multiply by 25 to the power 49 okay i have this answer if they have the same exponents then the multiplication of them is just the multiplication of the base and then to the power the same exponent and you have to pay attention what is the what is the multiplication of the two bases 4 times 25 it is 100 this is a key because of this and we spare it 49 from this exponent from 4 52 now, this exponent 3, it becomes lonely. Oh. First of all, 3 is 64. And then times, let them get together. 4 to the power 49. And then times 25 to the power 49. Sixty-four. Then times, they have the same exponents, and they have different bases. So get the multiplication of the bases and all to power the same exponent. Because four then times twenty-five, it is a nice number. Isn't it? It is 100. 100 is pretty good. So, 64 then times 100 to the power 49. Now, 64 then times 100 to the power 49. I should write it as the form A then times 10 to the power b and here the a is greater or equal to 1 and then it is it must be smaller than 10 and this b is just an integer now 100 we know that 64 then times 100 is 10 squared and then here the exponent 49 now 10 to the power 2 and then all to the power 49 you just get the multiplications of the exponent and it becomes the new exponent 10 to the power 2 then times 49 2 times 49, it is 98. And then the final answer, we have to write it as a then times 10 to the power b, this form. And this a, it has to be greater or equal to 1, and it has also to be smaller than 10. But here, the 64, it is greater than 10. So I have to write it as here, 
is the decimal point. And I just move the decimal point here between 6 and 4. 6.4. And then if I move a decimal point from right to left, one digit, then I have to plus 1 on the exponent. So it is 6.4 then times 10 to the power 99. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell. Give a like. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.